Kia ora koto. welcome uh, to day four of our five day lockdown. Uh, it is the 4th of March and um, I'm bringing you this little um, video from room 10 today. So I'm just cruising around room 10 and oh, what's that? I'm just gonna cut that. Gosh, I think it might be another one of our whanau trees. So this is room 10's whanau tree and you can see that it is pretty outstanding. And let's have a look at some of our families today. Hi Zara, and we've got Casey Jordan. Uh, who else? Isabella up there. We've got Jake, Chloe, Eva, Angeline. So amazing um, uh, family snapshots of our wonderful families here at St. Dom's. And next door to it, we've got our Pepe Haas. So a uh, beautiful graphic of the children here and their Pepe Haas. So, uh, thanks Room 10 for letting us look around your class today. Just, um, uh, let me flip. got two things today, our classic um, riddle again today. So get ready for this one. Yesterday, a lot of people found it really hard. I got lots of people sending in planes and things like that, but it wasn't, it was a garbage truck. And Chrissy, Chrissy was the first person to uh, send in her answer and um, she got 100 house points. So listen up to the riddle today. Remember, you need via numbers. I'll just let everybody have a look at that again. So remember we're doing numbers and you send in the answer with your using our code. So uh, the riddle today, uh, not too hard. I'm sure we'll all be able to get it. A lot of people I've heard are Googling them, trying to find the answers. So um, let's try and see if we can't, if we can stop using Google and try and figure it out ourselves. Let's see what happens. It belongs to you, but other people use it more than you do. It belongs to you, but other people use it more than you do. So that is a real tricky one for everyone. Listen up, the challenge today is a real competition. So I want you to have a go. Uh, what you do is, let me flip it around, I'm trying to do this again with one hand. Um, uh, it's quite difficult. So you just get your normal uh, A4 piece of paper. And remember, just use old paper. It doesn't have to be a flash new sheet. And once you've got that, uh, the challenge is to try and rip the A4 paper into one piece of long strip. Okay, so one piece of long strip. So all you do is you start on the corner and you start ripping it down, like so, and all the way down the bottom. And when you get to the end, you sort of turn around the corner and start heading down, like so. With the result is that you get a long strip. And the competition is who in the school who in the school can rip their piece of paper without breaking it for the longest strip of paper? So I've done it here. It's pretty sad looking, really. I uh, had a go at it last night. I've had a few goes at it to try and get it as long as I can. And so the measurer, I was thinking about this. We won't use a tape measure because a lot of people don't have tape measures at home. I just thought we'd do the old hand stretch. So here it is. One, two, three... Four, five, six, or well, just under six. So my length is just under six hands. So if you can beat that, have a go. Uh, send in how long you can get your strip, but you also have to send in a photo so I can check that it hasn't been broken. And I'm especially looking for anyone that's sellotaped it back together because that's a little bit of a trick that some people use. So it's got to be one complete strip. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Look after your mums and dads or whoever looks after you at home. Make sure they're okay. We've only got today and tomorrow, then the weekend, and fingers crossed that we're back in action on Monday. Uh, we all miss you loads, and I'm so happy to hear that lots of you are doing your learning at home, uh, whether it's in a book or online. So keep that going, and uh, God bless, and see you all soon. Take care.